Hello people. We're out again on the trail. Probably chose the worst day to go out on another walk because it's hella sludgy and I've nearly fallen on my arse several times. But, you know, we're out here. We are vibing. Something that I want to talk about is how self-improvement has kind of fucked my brain a bit. Because I've always been kind of a logic, logical kind of person. Or I t think of things in terms of like, oh, is this good and this is bad. You know, critical thinking and all that. And that's, of course, a good skill to have. But since I've been on self-improvement, even if people, like, offer me, like, food or, like... <sighs> Well, before with food, I would always be like, all right, is this healthy food? Do I actually need it? I would often decline. But now it's like, if people ask me to go places, I'm like, all right, is this, is this instant gratification or delayed gratification? Now, of course, most social things are um, a sort of, I don't know, productive sort of gratification to do. But it's weird, man, because I kind of like, I don't know, I kind of just... People ask me to do something, I was like, all right, how will this affect my dopamine levels? I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Because obviously before I learned a lot about dop dopamine and serotonin and etc. I didn't sort of ever think about how it's going to affect me brain-wise. But, you know, it's just so weird. I never thought that I would just sort of compare things in terms of like instant gratification oh squirrel howdy friend bro's chilling I'm, I'm sorry that i keep switching arms as well i'm not used to holding cameras like this and i've also been to the gym so my arms are very frail very weak i wish we're trolling it looks like on the camera like really light out but it's like sun setting in about five minutes i was hoping i could catch a glimpse of it there don't seem to be any good vantage points. So I'm just patrolling down this road that I was down the other day. Or yesterday, should I say. But yeah, does anyone else feel like that? That self-improvement has fucked their brain a tad. Because now they don't think of things. Now I'm sure all the normies out there are like, Oh my god, that's not healthy. And you're probably right, it's probably not healthy to reach 10,000 steps. It's probably not healthy to think of things in terms of dopamine and instant gratification. But like, I don't think about all things like that, like the gym. I already know that it's delayed gratification, so I don't think of it in that term. Um, but you know, I didn't get invited by a few Jeffrey friends to go places, but I just kind of ghosted them. It was, yeah, it was a bit sack at you but I don't know man see that van is still there from yesterday I was like walking down here there was like a red van let's go down here I won't go too close to the van not sure if there's any geezers around here chicken birds but yeah ever since I learned about instant and delayed gratification it's like I'll, it's like I'll psychoanalyze everything. I'll be like, okay, here's chewing this gum, delayed gratification, instant gratification. All right, if I have too many of these calories, how will it be? Can I get my macros from it? Or if I go to this place with these people, I waste time doing this. Although for the last few days, I have been dwelling too much in instant gratification. It's been kind of lame. This is a house. Oh, I live down here. She's me. Sounds like someone with gas. Hmm? We'll go back the way we came. Don't want to be disturbing people. Oh, Postman Pat lives there, I think. <laughs> In his red van. But I don't know if self-improvement has infect affected me mentally. I mean, I definitely have now got a better attention span because of meditation, better focus. Though, like I said, for the past few days, I've just been slacking, man. Completely slacking. I've just been putting off work that I have to do because I'm going to Spain next week to Valencia on a school trip. And 
I have like work set for my lessons, the work that I'm gonna miss, because the teacher encouraged us to do it in February half term, which is what we're in right now, but <sighs> I've really not wanted to do it. I've done like fragments of it. And sadly, that is not sufficient. I don't think I'll be able to see the sunset today. It's a bit too cloudy. Hey, well, we move. But uh, what else good things are happening? That's why I can't speak English. What else good things are happening? What other good things are happening? Uh, tomorrow we're getting fiber optic internet. Because like, ah, download speeds are about 13 megabytes per second. And then upload speeds is about 0.23 megabytes per second <laughs> I'll not tell you which internet provider we're with but I'll give you a clue what's that but anyway hopefully now we get the fiber optic cables we should be seeing more frequent videos because it seems that it takes me like to upload a 20 minute video it takes me like a day and a half I'm not even exaggerating like however many hours that is it's just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Regardless, how about if I do the camera like this? Oh, it's upside down now. How stupid. But anyway, I don't know if self-improvement has affected you mentally in that way. If it has, let me know. But I just think if my brain has developed in that kind of way where I'm able to probably analyze my actions and know whether things are good or bad, that can't be a bad thing, right? Surely not. Oh, nearly fell down. I put off. I've nearly slipped so many times today. My arm is aching, man. Whew. Too much on the Smith's press today. How's your day been going, bro? Have you had a good day? I need to go into these woods more often. Maybe I can find some more magical stuff like I did the other day, that Christmas tree and what have you. But I don't like roaming the streets, especially the woods, after dark. Because, I mean, my mum exaggerates it. She acts like we live in the ghetto, but you do meet some shady folks sometimes you do have to be careful regardless I haven't seen my friend in a while as well that lives down the road been working we go to a separate gym so I don't get to see him as often as I used to oh dear dear oh dear has self improvement affected me in any ways I did make a video I think like I'm few months ago now about the loneliness of self-improvement where it's like all of the people that I knew that I was friends with back in the day I still talk to them and they'll still like let me sit at the table and things but we just don't just don't click anymore you know we haven't got that same connection that we used to we we'll place you on here Look at that. And there's the gate. This is where I found the bicycle guy the other day. <laughs> where I was like walking up here, complaining about degenerates. And there was like, I saw a bike in the distance. And it was like, oh, someone just left a bike here. And I could see that it was flashing. I was like, oh, shit. Some geezer out there. He did, I think he turned around to look at me and then just walked me away. <laughs> NPC interaction. <laughs> that's another thing I notice how much people are NPCs like I'm not being funny when you're on self-improvement you do become a bit judgmental like I am quite an open-minded person but I don't know I just judge people so much now it's so it's so annoying as well when you see like a pretty girl but she's wearing degenerate clothes and she vapes and she just laughs at shit it's so upsetting, man. What a waste. What an absolute waste. Waste, man. Yeah, listen to the songbirds. It's so cool how birds make that noise. 
beautiful music of the wilderness. I wonder if I get back, I'll actually do any work. See, this is the thing, I'll have like stages of the day where I'll wake up, I woke up at like nine today and today's my dad's birthday. Also Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day, bro. I'm sorry you didn't get a card. The only card that I got was from my mum. <laughs> Don't worry, bro. I'll be your Valentine if I don't break my neck first and slip. But nah, today was my dad's birthday, so I had to be home early. And then I was just completely dead. And now it's 5 16 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. Crazy. Where does the time go, man? Where does the time go? That's why you gotta, you gotta make progress in your goals, man. 24 hours in a day. It's not a lot of time. Not a lot at all. Probably start heading out now. Which way did I come from? This way. Oh, damn. Let's hope I don't breaketh my necketh. Slipping and a sliding. Oh, dear. Oh, good heavens. Most British reaction ever. Oh, dear. We are in trouble. Oh, shit. Fiddle sticks. I'm not into like something Tetris. Zigzag ping pong. Whatever the hell it's called. Oh dear. Oh no. Thorns are getting my balls. Ooh. Dear. Sorry mother that I have messed up my shoes. I didn't mean it. There's that pit that I found. The metal things. Uh, which way should we go? We'll head this way. Back up the path. But yeah, what else is there more to say, bro? I think if you're on self-improvement, you have to be a bit deranged. A bit mentally, mentally fragmented, shall we say. A little bit. Nutty, like a fruit cake. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't think there's so many people that I know that are on like genuine self improvement as I am. Like, there's no one that I know that meditates. And of course, meditation is not the be all and end all to improve your mental health, but it would be so cool to find brethren like that. Maybe I'll find some natives in these woods and I can become their leader. I don't know. Can I actually see the sunset? Because it seems the way that my neighborhood's laid out, it's like you can see the sun rise, but everything towards the, I think, west is where the sun sets. It's all blocked off by like buildings and trees and what have you. Oh, crikey, yo. I've not talked to many people out there. I did see one fella in the gym as I was leaving, which is unfortunate. Like I said, I had to head back. Oh, has self-improvement made me lonely? Oh, I have made some good friends in the gym. I've now got their telephone contact numbers so we can go on some cheeky dates. Ooh. Oh. But like... I don't know, some of them are crazy, man. <laughs> Crazier than me. Proper loopy, yeah? I don't realise how much of the, like, the woods that I don't go to. Like, all that bit there. I just stick to this path. Although I did go through the middle of it the other day. Then we just got this jumping road block. What is that about? Who's been chopping? All the trees down. Something Wansler has been out here. Oh. I don't know. We'll see in 10 years how my brain is. I need to get a brain scan before and after. Call Andrew Huberman to give me a quick notice. Not notice. What is it? Quote. Oh shit, the birds, jumping birds on the animal I've seen is a squirrel and a bird.
or a flock of birds. Is it a flock of birds? A group of crows is called a murder. I don't know, man. See, as you can tell from the way that I communicate, I've got a stick in my, my shoelace. I have to tie my shoelace, bro. Let me pop you down here. No, nope, that's full of water. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Ooh. This is where I'm gonna get gangbanged. But yeah, I am a bit weird anyway. I've always been a bit of a peculiar person. But I guess that means I haven't been so messed up by society. I was quite the obedient student back in the day. I think a lot of that came from the fact that any time that got, oh God, any time I got remotely shouted at as a kid, I would always cry. So I soon realized, okay, maybe I shouldn't misbehave because I won't have any friends. <laughs> and here we are. Oh, this was not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. Oh, Nemi Dunam, Nemi Dunam. Anyway, Father, if you're watching this, I hope you had a decent birthday. I think we're doing something tomorrow. Because Mother's working today. Regardless, self-improvement's fucked my brain. We're all fucked. Everything's fucking fucked. Oh, dear. Which way should I exit? Yeah, definitely not seeing the sunset. No way in hell. How do we get out? We escaping. We vibing. Which way do I come out from? See, this is the thing. I can't figure out <laughs> how to get out of this one. I think it's here. If that's the field, then... Where the shit is that the... I'm lost, bro. It was my last video. <laughs> I'm kind of like starved to death. <laughs> trying to figure out how to get out of these damn woods. Oh, anyway, bro. I hope you've enjoyed this slight chapter in my crazy life. Where the hell is it? I'm trying to find the opening I came through. Hang on, we'll conclude when I actually know that I can get out when I'm lost. <laughs> no. It wasn't from there. It must be. Hang on. We'll find a way out. Don't worry about it. See. Self-improvement's fucked my sense of direction as well. Don't know where to go. Is this it? There we are. We found it. We're out. Whew. Freedom. All right, folks. I hope you enjoyed this brief episode. I've survived. And yeah, thank you for listening to my uh, what's the word? Oh, an intelligible <laughs> journal. All right, God bless, bro. Eat your tea and always brush your teeth. Mwah.